do you do uh, more complex and two-point perspective sketches? Um, what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to draw this pyramid here, um, and it's just a square-based pyramid, um, two-point perspective. So how you start with pretty much every type of pictorial drawing, uh, my advice would always be um, start off with a box. Boxes are easy. You should that should be the first shape that you really learn to do uh, with perspective. So it shouldn't be that complicated, and you should be able to produce that. Then it's a case of working out where is my object inside my box, and taking away the material that you don't need. A bit like 3D modeling. Um, so I'm just doing the same as my last video here um, that you can still see on the same page above of how to uh, produce a box. If you missed that video, feel free to go back and watch it. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below. Um, so once you've got the box shape here, I'm not going to outline it to begin with because I want to um, focus on uh, now working out where is the pyramid inside this box. Um, and that's I've got my little orthographic drawing down the bottom here to give me some help with this. So you can see um, I've used construction lines to help me produce the three different views. Um, and the important thing is the top of the pyramid um, is right in the centre. So it's in the centre of this part here. Now, if you were doing a drawing and wanted to measure this, you could. Obviously, the problem is the shape's getting smaller as it's going far away. So, um, and we're not doing a measured perspective. So what I'd always say to do is find the centre of this box. There's a couple of different ways you can do it. Um, one common way is just to draw a cross between the four corners and that gives us this point here. Um, then it's a case of saying okay the origin, the point of the pyramid, the top, needs to connect to the four different corners at the base of the pyramid. Um, so I can connect that to each one and I'm going to outline the ones at the front because I know they're going to be outlined. And the one at the back, you can't see because it's directly behind it. Once I've done that, all I need to do is outline the bottom of the shape. And that's we now got a two-point perspective pyramid drawn correctly. Thanks.